All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. I'm actually in San Diego right now. Uh, this is Harbor Bay Drive. Actually, I'm gonna spin around and kind of give you an idea what it looks like first, how beautiful it is here. So, there we go. I'll actually shoot on the other side. Let's go on the other side here. So, there you go, there's San Diego downtown. Beautiful, the bay. On the other side is Coronado. You might even hear the helicopters. Anyways, I'm gonna stay on this side. It's beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna talk about today very quickly is abs. And a lot of, time I, a lot of times I do these videos uh, going in the gym, while working out, leaving the gym. I just thought I would do a different scenery today. I got my glasses on, but it's kind of bright. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, so uh, a couple months ago, we went to Hawaii. We took some photos, and I had my shirt off like a tool. To make a long story short, I've been getting hit up a lot uh, regarding abs, how to keep your stomach tight and in shape, uh, especially middle-aged guys. That's what I want to talk about today is basically abs. So I'm going to start from the beginning on what I went through and what I think works best for people. And it's really taking a realistic approach. If you know any of my videos, I'm always talking about doing things slowly but consistently and not looking at things in months, but looking at things in years when it comes to getting in shape or working out. Uh, so I first want to start off when I was younger, it was a fluke accident, but I pulled hot steaming water on my stomach. So my entire life, I had a huge scar on my stomach. And I already had abs growing up. I was always playing sports in my genetics. So, so I was one of those guys who actually looked like he had a four pack, not necessarily a six pack. But then as I got older, I kind of turned into a six pack. But uh, yeah, there's a helicopter. Can you hear it? Anyways, I kind of like that. So as I got older, especially throughout my teens, the more shredded I got, the more distorted my stomach looked. That was one of the reasons I really was never interested in becoming a, like a professional bodybuilder, even though I was obsessed with getting big, was because my stomach was distorted. Truthfully, it never I never had a complex regarding this. I took off my shirt. I didn't care. People asked me constantly, what, what happened to your stomach? Uh, some areas look like I got stabbed or sliced or look like, obviously, it looked burned. Anyways. So what I did basically in my early 20s to probably my late 30s is I didn't even do abs. All I was doing was, you know, bigger powerlifting, bodybuilding type movements, lifting a lot of heavy weights. I didn't give a shit about my stomach. Uh, all I cared about was being big. But as time went on, uh, I started to get older. And then really in my late 30s, very late and early 40s, I decided to lose some weight because I was always around 230 to 250 pounds. So I said, this is over. So I started to lose weight. I got kind of too thin. I got down to like 180, 185. I didn't like that. So I basically went up to like 195. But I realized my stomach, uh, even though it was kind of tight and firm, it had no definition. And it, it just didn't look, it looked burned, but it didn't look healthy. Let me put it that way. So what I started to do was abs. And like a lot of people, I wasn't getting any results. Reason being was a lot of times I only eat a lot of Italian foods, a lot of pastas, a lot of breads, a lot of things in that nature. And that's one of the things I'm gonna talk about today when it comes to abs. One is, if you truly want abs, regardless what age, first you gotta realize a lot of it's genetics, no matter who you are. All right, some people naturally have just great abs or a great stomach. That goes for if you're younger, middle-aged, or even older, all right? The other thing is, it's your diet. I'm telling you, you probably heard this before. Your diet is really what's going to impact your stomach. You can do abs till the, till the forever. And what's usually that I've seen happens is you make your stomach tighter and more fit. It doesn't necessarily show that definition if that's what you're looking for. But if you want abs too, one thing I would do that a lot of people would not recommend, and I talk about this in my ab video, I did a YouTube video where I show you all the different ab exercises I do right now at my age. One thing I tell people if you truly want to build that stomach, get it strong, is do abs first after you're done warming up at the gym. Go in, ride the bike for five minutes, get some blood flow, walk on the treadmill, whatever. Then do abs first. Do them about three times a week. You can do abs every other day, but do not do them every day. They're very similar to your calves. You can basically, they have this type of muscle tissue, I guess, that you, they can handle every other day. I'd only do a few times a week, because if you kick, your, kick it in the ass with abs, 
you're going to be sore a lot of times. But again, do them first. That's what I would recommend more than anything is doing abs. It's going to take a lot of energy out of you, especially if you start your workouts, hypothetically, whatever you do. Um, when you do abs first and you do them you know, really hard, say you do five, six, seven sets, you may even do eight, that's going to be a big part of your workout now because now when you go in to do your other stuff, you're going to be fatigued, especially if you did it hard, at least a little bit. All right. A lot of times, most people do abs at the end, which is fine too, but what I've realized over the years, they neglect them. They either want to get out fast or they're already fatigued from their other workout, which is understandable. So if you keep saving them for last, just like anything else, how much energy are you putting into that? All right, so that's something you have to think about as well. And here's the other thing which I discuss is consistency again. You have to be consistent when doing abs, all right? You can't do them for a week or a month and then quit doing them or do them once a week or do like one say on a Monday, you know, you do an ab workout. Then you don't do another one no Saturday. Then you don't do another one for two weeks. Then you do three in one week. You got to be consistent just like anything else. It's going to take time unless, again, naturally you have the genetics to pull that off. And here's something that I learned at a really young age. Uh, I used to go to this boxing gym with my buddy in Chicago, and we used to go hang out with the boxers. And if you can go to a gym where there's a lot of boxers or go online, whatever, a lot of different old school ab workouts that boxers use, I'm telling you, those are unbelievable. As you know, if you're boxing, you have to definitely uh, have a strong stomach or you're a dead man because they'll just go to the body and just destroy you. If you watch their workouts, even professional boxers, it's unbelievable what they do, but a lot of their workouts are ab driven. And they're not like using all different types of equipment that you may be using in a gym, which is fine too. It's just really old school stuff. It will tighten you up. It's unbelievable. So I just thought I would throw that in there as well. And a lot of it is about nutrition. But here's the thing, the last thing I'm going to say about this is you have to find out nutrition-wise what works for you. A lot of people think, oh, I'm just going to cut out bread or I'm going to cut out carbs or I'm going to cut this out and do this and do that. A lot of that may not be working for you. You may have read all these different things work for others. It may not work for you, okay? Certain things you may be able to eat, certain things you may not. Study your body. Take either photos. Don't trust the mirror when you know you really want to build a certain area of your body. I call it Michelangeloing. Michelangeloing. Why do I screw that up all the time? But you want to sculpt your body, and when you're creating abs, right? You want to see your results, and you also want to pay attention to the type of workout you're doing. Are they working in a month for you? Just because you're doing this person's ab workout or another person's or a trainer's or whatever, just because they have amazing abs may not be working for you because our genetics are all different. So you have to study these things, find what works best for you, and also commit and be consistent. Learn to evolve also. I love changing up all different style ab workouts too. Don't get caught up going to the gym or wherever and doing the same ab workout over and over and over again because it gets a little redundant for one. And two, you got to shock different areas because you have so many different areas of your abs. Um, so, what else? There's the helicopter. And if you get a chance, check out my YouTube uh, video on abs. I also uh, I have a podcast, The Rich to Lenza Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And be consistent. Watch YouTube videos. Read about it as well. I tell people just don't watch videos. Try to read up on a lot of different things as well regarding working out. So, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, subscribe. One last view. San Diego, here you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful place. I think one of the most beautiful places in North America, personally. I still not live far from here in Carlsbad, so... If you ever get a chance, come to San Diego. I do a lot of videos in San Diego just because it's beautiful. There's so many cool things to do here. So, all right, take care, and if you're traveling, safe travels.